Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, ARC Aerosystems announces redox of Avian Pegasus gyroplane, Strata Launch aims for commercialized hypersonics, and ERAU drone instructors gearing up for business. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. ARC Aerosystems announces redox of Avian Pegasus gyroplane. ARC Aerosystems announced the return of the Avian Pegasus gyroplane. Avian stemmed from employees of Avro Canada, designing their gyroplanes in Canada and ultimately producing three prototype pre-production aircraft to work through the certification process. Ultimately, the firm died out in the early 70s with its assets put up for sale. One remaining prototype, along with the design's rights and type certification, found their way into ARC Aerosystems' hands in 2023. Their rendition, the Pegasus, will sport the same jump takeoff and zero roll landing capability as the original design. ARC says that test flights will begin shortly after the sole remaining vintage Pegasus is restored to an airworthy state. Once it is, it will, quote, serve as a technology demonstrator for ARC's nine-seat Lynx P9 compound gyroplane currently under development, end quote. The Lynx will incorporate the same jump takeoff tech of the Pegasus while opting for a hybrid propulsion system in place of the original's Lycoming piston engine. Another development campaign will, quote, explore the potential of the Pegasus as a retro solution to the modern problem of air taxis and urban air mobility, end quote. And after the break, Archer Aviation and Air Chateau announce $500 million order. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Archer Aviation and Air Chateau announce $500 million order. Archer Aviation left the Dubai Air Show holding some pretty juicy order forms covering more than $500 million in business for their midnight aircraft. The buyer of 100 midnight EVTOL aircraft is Emirati operator Air Chateau, who signed a memorandum of understanding covering the purchase with an initial non-refundable pre-delivery payment of $1 million. Additional funding and pre-delivery payments is contemplated to be paid following signing, according to official press. TechEver and CRFS launch signal sniffing UAS. TechEver, a global leader in unmanned systems technology, and CRFS, a pioneer in building ultra-sensitive RF receivers, have put their heads together to create a fixed-wing UAV in the form of the AR-5, an airborne bloodhound to ferret out radio signals of terrestrial targets. The alphabet soup of tactical and comms industry terms may be tough to parse for an outsider, but the gist of things is that the RFI node, a quote, lightweight and rugged RF receiver with an 11 MHz IBW and a frequency range of up to 40 GHz, end quote, combines with the AR-5, a tricycle-geared twin-engine fixed-wing UAV. Hydrogen found in lunar samples. 
The U.S. Naval Research Laboratory has announced the discovery of solar wind hydrogen in lunar samples, which points to water on the surface of the moon. If there is recoverable water on Luna's rocks, then it bodes well for operations in the coming decade. The hydrogen found was similar to helium found in lunar soils from the Apollo program, deposited by solar winds as elements were carried throughout the cosmos. The discovery comes courtesy of a Navy operation, using samples gleaned from the Apollo mission. Nebraska Fire Department Gets Drone Grant TC Energy awarded the Fire Department of Norfolk, Nebraska to the tune of $20,000 for the purchase of a thermal drone and supporting equipment. The local fire chief said the division uses a smaller, less capable UAV at the moment, spotting areas of excessive heat during ongoing structure fires, or spotting incipient wildfires when out in the surrounding territories. The drone would appear to be a DJI Matrice M30T, which is equipped with a 12-megapixel wide-angle camera, 48-megapixel zoom camera, and built-in thermal imager with laser rangefinder. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Strata Launch aims for commercialized hypersonics. Strata Launch LLC has continued its efforts to develop a Mach 5 capable aircraft helped along by a familiarly Rutan esque design in the form of scaled composites as rock. Strata Launch has planned to offer satellite launch services by taking advantage of lower costs achieved by mid air ignition, working with scaled composites of Burt Rutan fame to design a twin fuselage aircraft capable of lifting a small rocket up as high as possible. Jet A is generally much cheaper than rocket fuel, or so the plan goes, but ultimately Strata Launch found itself behind the curve, with the satellite delivery market being taken over by reusable launch vehicles. The ROC, as it happens, serves as an excellent test bed for large rockets and missiles, allowing the company a solid vantage point to help develop Mach 5 capable systems. Strata Launch let slip that they plan to test out their first prototype, the TA-1, before 2024. Another, TA-2, is scheduled for launch early in 2024 to prove the design can autonomously guide itself to a safe landing at Vandenberg AFB. Taking a page from SpaceX and similarly resourceful operators, the Talon series of aircraft will be just as reusable, saving millions over the life cycle of hypersonic tests. And after these messages, ERAU drone instructors gearing up for business. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Hearts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Welcome back. ERAU drone instructors gearing up for business. A new program at Embry-Riddle has begun training uncrewed aircraft system students into becoming remote pilot instructors. The program is reportedly successful so far, with 13 instructors produced and each holding trusted operator program credentials. The school is proud to be the first academic institution to get top certification from AUVSI. In addition to flight operations, students in the UAS program learn how to build, design, and flight test drones with a bevy of computer modeling and prototyping skills included along the way. Joe Cabrera, UAS flight instructor and research support specialist at Embry-Riddle, said, quote, The program is a novel approach to drone education and involves a comprehensive curriculum that covers not just hands-on drone flying time and certifications through AUVSI, but it also dives deep into the mechanics and intricacies of drone technology. This will provide students with a unique and innovative learning experience, ensuring they are at the forefront of drone technology and its applications in various industries." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!